hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and on today's topic i'm going to talk about how what to expect or what to ask your agents or how you can be prepared while you are coming to Qatar to work or what should be your expectation regarding accommodation so mainly this video is going to help those people who are coming let's say from Kenya to Qatar mainly so because I'm a Kenyan so I'm going to give my point of view or I'm going to share with you how it's going to help you to get mentally prepared when you are about to relocate in Qatar so it will be just a freestyle talk so I hope I will make sense regarding this so I would like to share with you when um, you are coming to Qatar the first thing you should expect when you are signing your contract please try to ask your agency or if you are applying direct try to 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 read your contract very well uh, whereby the contract they normally put um, if they are providing accommodation or you will have to find accommodation by yourself and the other thing about transportation some companies offer transportation some they don't depends on which uh, job uh, position you have applied on for instance people who mainly are coming to work in qatar let's say you are coming to work inside a mall in this category you are let's say a sales representative so most most of the job they don't offer accommodation nor transportation or food so your package might be different for someone who is coming to work as security or waitress yeah i'm going to just highlight so it's about you to talk to an agent and uh, find out how what do the company offer yeah i think on that i'm clear and uh, just to give you some highlight on my experience because i've been working abroad for a while now and uh, i have changed come from one company to another and um, all companies seems to be same either you're working in um, jordan dubai qatar saudi i think uh, the accommodation protocols are similar so you have to be prepared in a way of you will not be living in a room like this alone you might be sharing with someone because um, accommodations out here are quite expensive so i think also for the company they cannot be capable to accommodate each person as an individual and on this for you to be accommodated as an individual i think on this depends on your position and uh, your job profile yeah so when what do i mean with job profiles for instance you are um restaurant manager so on this profile because it is high rank position you will not be sharing accommodation with someone but if you are um waitress definitely you are going to share a room with someone so be prepared each company is different some you might end up in a room sharing two people in a room depends also how big is the room so so on this mainly you will it, it has each company has uh, different different procedures on how they are going to put people on my side um mostly once you have joined the company they will mostly um ask you or some they don't ask you if you want to share accommodation with your same your nationality for instance if you are a kenyan and in certain room there is a fellow kenyan so i think more they give you option who you will want to share accommodation with if you want your same nationality I think more they normally give you that priority but on my own opinion I always prefer to share accommodation with different nationality for instance if you are sharing accommodation with Sri Lankan or Filipinos or Filipina I don't know, Filipino Filipino okay or you are sharing 
um, majority of the um, nationalities which you might be sharing accommodation with might be Indonesian or Sri Lanka or Filipinos. So it's upon you to feel which uh, roommate might be suitable for you. For instance, for I, I choose different nationalities, for instance, if ever you are two or three people in accommodation and it's happened that all of you are having or two of you are having same day off and you want to call your family back at home and if you have a uh, same nationality inside your room and you have some project you're doing back at home or you need some privacy you can once you're speaking in Swahili or you might end up being understanding each other i think it will limit you you will not be more free you will not have more freedom of you will not feel comfortable to talk through the phone when your roommate are around there but if you are with different nationality and you really to make phone call without going outside i think this is the best way to have your own privacy regarding they won't understand your language and you can enjoy each other because once you are living with each other different nationality you will give um, you will respect each other but to, i find out on myself when you are sharing accommodation with some of my nationality you might end up not um being on the same agreement for instance like someone might come from work might turn on the light and um you are having your duty tomorrow early in the morning so you will have silly arguments so i find out it depends on what will make you better but this is highlight for you to think very well if you are a newcomer coming to this country and uh, you are thinking on how to share accommodation i feel it is better way for you to think on that very well sharing accommodation has no problem regarding um how you and your partner how you and your fellow colleagues will cooperate for instance you have to be a very clean person where if you're using kitchens are always for sharing living room always are always for sharing so you have to always um compromise if you have friends you have to compromise if you are inviting friends over you have to respect all your colleagues or all your roommates so that you will not have any argument so you have mentally to prepare yourself that when you are coming here and if you are coming um as a security or waitress or a job which you might think will not allow you to have that um capability to live alone then be ready to prepare yourself that you are going to live with someone and if you are a lady you are going to share a room with ladies if you are a male you are going to share a room with males so i just wanted to give a highlight because some of you after putting out the video on how you can apply jobs I feel like um, some they are asking if the contract is included with accommodation, with transportation or food. On this, companies are different and uh, you have to, while you are signing your contract, please ask your um, employer regarding the food allowance or if the, if the company provide food on duty or not. So this will be an help. This will be helpful to know if that amount of money is convenient to you and if it's so then go ahead with the contract if you feel you have no problem with sharing accommodation no matter what age group you are then i think that is a great step to take so i think that is the end of this video if you have any question try to put down below if i will have time i will try to get back to you so at this moment Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.